What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to your July reading. This is for Scorpio, Summer and Rising Venus. We'll be taking a look to see what messages you come through for you guys for the second half of July. See what you guys could be currently dealing with, what you can expect, get some insight with some guidance, and overall see what's going on for you. I hope that you're doing well. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that's in the description down below. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. With that being said, Scorpio, let's see what messages Spirit has for you, what you need to know for the second half of july for scorpio sun moon rising venus what's going on for my scorpios what do they need to know show me clearly any messages for scorpio we got the vulture well that's a fitting card for you scorpio <laughs> uh the vulture the element of air that is all about purging cleansing removing any impurities this could be like you know symbolic of things that are going on in your life where you know it could be a relationship it could be a lifestyle it could be a mindset um for some it's like i just got the imagery like some of y'all need a good old face mask right remove the impurities of your blemishes right i mean hey everybody has them there's no such thing as being perfect but some of y'all are like i need a face mask i need to detoxify maybe it's something to do with what you've been eating or like maybe you're needing to drink more water that is for someone out there we also have the oyster coming out um there could be something that you've been kind of keeping quiet or like not really showing something to the, like you've been keeping something hidden you've been keeping something a secret maybe it's because there's still some things you got to remove before you can maybe announce something or you're putting something out for the world to see but you're not ready yet or there's some things you got to do before you can take that step to like opening up in some sort of way like this could even be talking about you trying to open up in a relationship but like there's still some fears Nothing else is coming out from the animal deck. I'm going to give it one last shuffle. Okay. Oh, the phoenix. Well, isn't that fitting, Scorpio? Okay. All right. So you got some work to do. We also have the buffalo at the bottom of the deck and the cosmic egg. You got some work to do, but Scorpio, you are coming close to wrapping up some sort of cycle in your life, some sort of, maybe it's a pattern. Maybe it's some sort of like reoccurring theme or lesson or experience situation that keeps coming up because there's a lesson here for you to learn. It looks like the second half of July, you're cementing this. You're cementing a lesson that you've learned and you're able to close that door, close that chapter once and for all, right? So it kind of seems like, oh my God, this is just amazing the way that these cards came out. So we have, look at the oyster to the, to the phoenix. The oyster is like closed off, um, kind of afraid, kind of scared, you know, not really ready or not really feeling ready to put yourself out there there's this hesitation right something has you kind of like clammed up and then the phoenix which is all about transformation spreading your wings opening up like just look at how we go from this closed off energy here i'll put it like this so it makes sense like in the order it's like this to that right oh wait no it's backwards on my computer okay right yeah okay never mind it doesn't matter you guys <laughs> it doesn't matter but you go you start off kind of like in this closed off kind of holding back maybe even kind of four of four of pentacles energy kind of holding back or withholding something withholding information withholding some sort of talent some sort of idea and then you get the green light and it's time to go it's time to i mean the phoenix scorpio that is literally your energy rising from the ashes massive transformation um is about letting go of what we were just talking about with the vulture, those impurities, the tech, toxic situations, relationships, mindsets, etc., etc., etc. There's some cleansing. There's some work that needs to be done, and you're doing the work. You're doing the work, and you're waiting. We're waiting for the opportunity to open up or to take some sort of action that will forever change your life. That will really transform this chapter that you're in you're stepping into really like a new chapter of your life where time from now some like time six months a, month, a year even a few weeks you look back and be like wow that was the turning point that's where my life changed that's where i really stepped into my power that's when yeah okay i went through this loss and i lost out on this or this relationship left my life but now this is in my life and if it wasn't for that loss i wouldn't be where i am today so like that's like 
down the line you're going to look back at this situation this loss or whatever it is that you have to remove or maybe it's a setback maybe it's some sort of delay or block right we have the buffalo at the bottom of the deck which indicates that maybe this this path that you've been on scorpio it hasn't been the easiest but you've been determined you've been very focused and you're not a quitter i was saying this in capricorn's reading that the, you, if you're afraid of failure all you have to do is just don't quit right as soon as you quit that's when it that's when it's failed right it's not a fail if you don't quit so whatever this is that you're trying to move towards or succeed in scorpio or attract manifest work on whatever that is for you it could be a personal goal it could be about a relationship it could be about your career your money it could be about your health and what like i don't care what it is scorpio just stay focused and don't quit that's what matters the most just don't quit you don't want to fail i get it so then just don't quit <laughs> right don't quit because you're so freaking close so don't give up scorpio let's pull some tarot messages let's see what else is going on for you maybe we'll get some more insight as to what's happening here but we do also have the element of um spirit coming through which represents uh the divine your angels ancestors spirit team it's a strong indication here that you are very 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 protected as always um not surprise for you but when the spirit card comes out it's just like a huge indication that like you know spirit is watching over you you are so like divinely protected and don't forget it phoenix also does represent your roots so make sure that you're staying grounded through all these changes um yeah all right let's pull some tarot messages for scorpio summer rising venus for the second half of july we have the page of swords the queen of pentacles Messages for Scorpio, summarizing Venus, the Hermit, and the Six of Wands. So that felt the Six of Wands fell on top of the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm actually gonna keep that there. Um, we also have the Lovers coming out, and at the bottom we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Magician. Awesome, and also the Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups. Ace of Wands reversed with the Eight of Cups. It looks like that could be what you could be leaving behind when we talk about the vulture of things that you're clearing out, any impurities, any toxicities. So situations in your life where there is just no desire, no motivation or excitement or passion, or it doesn't add value to life. Uh, I do see that you are walking away from situations where you're just kind of like, this burns me out, right? It just burns me out. It exhausts me. It drains me. I gain nothing from it. it. Again, it could be about a relationship, an environment, workplace, attitude to life, whatever the case is. There is something here, the Ace of Wands reverse, something that keeps burning you out. And yeah, it's just kind of like when i've taken sage out or like a herb outside and it's windy it burns so freaking fast like that's the imagery i get is like there's like a situation that just burns you out really quickly um and that's yeah like that's literally the image that comes to mind it's just like something just been burning you out way 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 quicker than like anything else right um so i just see like you're leaving behind situations that burn you out that exhaust you that drain you that are just not good you're getting more you know stricter with your boundaries and um you, you even are showing up here as a hermit so you might be spending some time alone or just kind of keeping to yourself a little bit um investing in the areas eight of pentacles to the sun investing in the areas that are positive influences to you things that inspire you things that make you feel good you want to have more of that so that's where you're directing your focus scorpio that's where you are investing your time and energy because it makes you feel good you feel happy you feel supported you feel appreciated you feel recognized you're not going to invest yourself into situations that are draining you and taking away from you right so you're really aware of that you're really aware of where you're directing your focus you're really aware of where you're putting your energy and effort towards because you know where our thoughts go that turns into our actions and our actions really do shift our life and so you're just being very very careful very selective who you are committing to what you're giving your time and energy to here we have the lovers gemini energy also leo virgo um, just letting you guys know the zodiac signs out here. There is something possibly about a commitment. Um, let's see, how does this fit in? Because for some, you are investing yourself in a relationship that it, it's really fulfilling. It's very exciting. And there's a, a relationship that's growing for some. 
you have a relationship coming in if you'd like that right free will and all that because not everybody does we have the queen of pentacles six of wands the page of swords i do feel like you have a lot of eyes on you lots of potential pursuers for my singles looking for love um even if you're not looking for love you might just randomly in second half of july everybody's just hitting you up asking you out um wanting to get to know you wanting to take you out um and so there could be actually <laughs> there could be a lot of competition in the love sector for you scorpio and it's just like it's almost i'm getting like bachelor bachelorette vibes or it's like you've got 20 contestants <laughs> who's gonna who's gonna compete for your love <laughs> who's worthy of the commitment i'm just saying right and you're kind of like in this firm energy like hmm what am i looking for here who checks all these boxes what whatever like right? because you're showing up here as the queen of pentacles you're very abundant you're very confident you've been taking really good care of yourself you're sure of yourself in the world like there is no lack of confidence here you are very secure very grounded and you're very healing too that's the energy that you are embodying in the second half of july where you know you are just at your ultimate best like you're just living your best life scorpio and you just want to make sure that whoever comes into your life they're adding to your life they're not taking and draining so when you have all these pursuers here because it fell on top of the queen of pentacles well i have another message i'll pass on after this but you may have a lot of eyes on you lots of people um are drawn to you you're gaining a lot of attention and um again you're just trying to make sure that the people that are coming into your life match the same energy or you know you're not going out of your way to give 90 percent efforts when you're only getting 10 percent back because like what that's again it's draining right it goes back to that ace of wands reverse it just burns you out right you're not going to bend yourself over backwards for someone who wouldn't do the same for you you know you're not going to give someone the full loaf of the bread when someone only gives you little breadcrumbs or a tiny little sliver a tiny little slice like no so you're just making sure that you are giving the same energy back right so you're not overextending yourself and reaching burnout reaching exhaustion so another message that i want to pass on here with that six of wands to the queen of pentacles is massive success massive victory massive recognition especially when we include the sun in here scorpio i feel like you're achieving massive success this month um success is obviously different for everybody everybody has different um interpretations of what that is but so whatever that is for you scorpio whatever it is that you like to achieve or accomplish i feel like you're making a great um like dent in that you know does that make sense like you are really making moves from a place of power but it's like not in a negative way it's in like a really positive way where it's not only influencing and impacting your life but it's also helping others and for some it's like you're going to be able to provide for your family or provide for your loved ones friends um people that you really care about it's like you're you're going to be able to spread so much positivity and to change people's lives for the better it's just so beautiful i really am liking this energy a lot and like i said the six of wands to the page of swords there's lots of eyes on you lots of attention you might even have someone keeping tabs on you just have to throw that out there because the page of swords is known to be the stalker especially through like social media so if you've had any suspicions scorpio obviously this message ain't gonna apply for everybody but if you've had some suspicions like i wonder if this person still checks up on me or i wonder if this person talks about me or blah 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 um or let's just say for example you know maybe you for example instagram not everybody has it but if you use instagram and you're a public on instagram or any social media or whatever but if you like post something on your story it shows who views it and if you scroll down sometimes there's like these bot accounts and apparently apparently those bot accounts are <laughs> some people can like there's like these websites like these third-party websites that people can like view your 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 profile even if you block them as long as they have like the link they can like look it up anonymously and then so those bot accounts are apparently um from those websites so if you've had like suspicion someone's been watching you or keeping tabs on you even if you have them blocked there are fucking ways around that where people can still try to have access to you it's kind of creepy or like let's say like someone a random facebook account adds you and you're like who is this person it's like is it a fake account bitch it might be <laughs> it might be so just like be aware of that it's kind of weird but um 
I don't think that's gonna bother you too much because again I feel like you're being very select of what you're putting out there for the world to see like you're protecting your privacy I am picking up on that a lot like you are sh you know Scorpio you guys are very select of what you share the world with or who what you what you share about yourself with the world you're very private you're showing up here like you know you have a lot of attention lots of eyes on you but yet you are still remaining private or you're keeping things private where people can only see certain things about you and like that's not a bad thing at all you know privacy is important to have um so yeah those are basically the main message i'm me the, the, the messages i have so much energy scorpio i feel like i can't speak <laughs> these are like the main messages but we could do some clarifying because we've got a little bit of time left to kill okay so um do we need to look into what you're leaving behind no you already know that if there if you had like a feeling like should i leave this person behind should i walk away from this should i clear this up yes yes here's your confirmation get it out so that you can really step into your authenticity um there is something that you could be reflecting on the hermit let's see what that's about because maybe you're getting some sort of insight or clarity here so tell me about the hermit that's that was me i'm not taking those cards big ass sack tell me about the hermit for scorpio summer rising venus for the second half of july 2022 oh speak of the hermit we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck wow okay tell me about the hermit for scorpio what is scorpio reflecting on second half of july 2022 Okay, what's this card? I'm taking it. Eight of Wands reversed. Queen of Coins reversed. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Fire sign. Oh, Ace of Coins reversed and the world. Okay, so you're looking back at a... So for some, this is not obviously going to apply for everybody. Use your discernment. Two of Wands reversed. Six of Wands... Is my deck actually upside down? You know what? I think it is but we'll just read it this way because they came out they can flip themselves out so eight of wands reverse can indicate blocks can indicate um if this is talking about communication this talks about blockages in communication and i kind of see here ace of coins reverse queen of coins reverse like you're not this kind of just goes back in what you're leaving behind the ace of wands what, what's been draining you um and so we have the hermit. It's like you kind of protecting your energy, kind of like that oyster, like you're shutting off from some people. That's what I feel from this Eight of Wands reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you are shutting off from people. And sometimes the Queen of Pentacles reverse can show up in a reading as like someone who's kind of self selfish or self-centered or kind of just focusing on themselves. And in this case, like that could be how someone maybe views you, like you kind of shut them out and they may feel... That they may view you as someone who's like being selfish but like really you're doing that to protect your energy that's how someone's seeing you though that's on them that's their own projections like it has nothing to do scorpio nothing to do with you scorpio like i'm not saying you're selfish like you are literally putting yourself first right but someone may see you as like wow scorpio just shut me off scorpio just dips scorpio doesn't care about me scorpio is just me 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 but like really you're just protecting your energy and you're being selective of who you're giving your time and energy to right so i do see here with the world um massive cycle has been coming to a close here probably tied back in with the vulture the phoenix even the cosmic egg that showed up here in this reading at the bottom of the animal spirit deck but i just see like you're kind of shutting some things out of your life and just kind of like in do not destroy disturb mode like don't bother me don't disturb me i'm getting like kind of stuffed up all of a sudden like yo what's going on <laughs> but yeah and at the bottom <clears throat> two of wands reverse six of wands reverse and the three of wands reverse i know all these cards are like upside down um two wow lots of lots of fire i just realized that yeah like this is i'm just basically just the same energy I don't really feel like I need to keep saying the same old shit. <laughs> you guys get the point. Let's move on. Let's take a look into um, the sun. Yeah. We'll look into the sun. And then we're going to wrap some things. We're going to wrap it up after this. Because there's not a whole lot to really talk about. It looks really positive for you, Scorpio. So tell me about the sun for Scorpio. Sun can also talk about illumination, truth, which we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck because I'm talking about that. <laughs> Funny. 
Um, yeah, so the sun could talk about like truth, seeing things for what it is, um, getting clarity on a situation. So if there is something that you've been reflecting on or trying to get clarity on or closure on, I do see that you'll be getting that, Scorpio. You'll be getting answers uh, if you've been trying to get some answers. Tell me about the sun for Scorpio. For the second half of July 2022. Tell me about the sun for Scorpio. Okay, King of Wands reversed. Tell me about the sun for Scorpio. Just making sure my deck isn't upside down. No, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Just about, okay, wow. Nine of Swords reversed with the sun. Double confirmation. We have a lot of cards that came out. Um, the Knight of Wands reversed. Empress seven of swords and the devil wow wow ten of coins ten of swords nine of coins at the bottom five of coins wow okay we'll talk about that because we've got a lot that came out here mm. how do i okay um, let me just like put these in order here because this knight of wands reverse king of wands reverse definitely feels like that's an individual or maybe a couple people in your life and this is you protecting your energy. Wow, there is such warmth, such protection around you, Scorpio. So you've gotten clarity about the people, certain people in your life that don't have good intentions. Um, people in your life who may have been very flaky, inconsistent, non-committal. Um, with the King of Wands reverse, there may be some resentment that you carry towards these people. There may still be some unresolved feelings. Maybe that's what you're reflecting on here with that hermit and the world. So maybe that's um, some things that are coming up within you, of you working through any of that anger yucky feelings that's the energy of the vultures like really just needing to work through all that dark yucky energy but working through it and transforming it so that you don't have to carry it with you moving forwards which is also the energy of the phoenix so you know there has been some people in your life that didn't treat you with kindness respect what you deserved right and so, yeah, it makes sense that you're feeling that type of way. But at least you now know you've gotten clarity that some people just don't have good intentions. Look at the seven of swords to the devil. Like, this is someone who's stealing your energy, stealing your time for some, stealing your money, your love, taking advantage of you. You're done with that and you've gotten clarity on that. And it's just like you are... That's where you are really protecting your energy back what we were saying earlier, how someone may view you as like, wow, Scorpio just like vanished or Scorpio doesn't talk to me anymore. Why don't they do that? It's like, yeah, maybe it's because you drained the fuck out of Scorpio. You burnt them out. Like, so anyways, with the devil and the seven of swords, you're very, very aware of certain individuals that were taking from you, taking advantage of you, draining you and then we have the nine of swords reverse you're no longer being affected by their energy we also have the sun um you're seeing the reality of the situation you may have been in your head at a time like feeling kind of guilty you're kind of kind of like you know putting up with treatment that you know you didn't deserve but you were putting up with it because you didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings or you didn't want to come across as being rude or like you know like being like, like sacrificing your inner peace to keep the peace in a situation but really you were just like swallowing your truth and holding back what you really felt and then it was just making you feel like shit so with the nine of swords reverse you're coming out of those fears of like oh what if they think i'm a bad person or what if this or what if that like now you are like no i'm not going to let these thoughts put me there i need to put myself first i need to do what's right for me you know and that's okay you know what sometimes we outgrow connections sometimes you and a specific person or a group of people are no longer compatible and that's oh good that's what happens in this life we can't always um grow together right anyways we have the empress that came out it's like you're really just protecting your own peace and yeah like there is no, you shouldn't feel guilty for that you shouldn't feel guilty for putting yourself first or um just following what's right for you and there's this certainty you have within you like knowing that this is the best thing that you could do for yourself and 
um, you're feeling more positive, feeling more calmer, less anxious, less stressed because you no longer have those kinds of individuals or energies kind of sucking away from you, you know? Maybe you felt like you couldn't really be yourself around certain people. Maybe you felt like you had to water yourself down or pretend to be someone that you weren't. Or, you know, it seems like you're really stepping into a time of your life, Scorpio, where you can really be authentic and you're not so worried about what others might think of you, whether people love you for it, hate you for it, you don't really care. And plus, it's not really your business anyways <laughs> um what matters most is like what you think of yourself really it comes down to are you happy with yourself um do you love yourself are you working towards those things if you're not there yet you know there's always room for growth and improvement but at the end of the day you are stuck with yourself till your last breath till your very last breath on earth right so it's important that like what matters the most of what you think not what everybody else thinks and you shouldn't have to feel pressure to like follow the crowd or do what society thinks is right like you're really just sticking to your guns and following your own path which is funny because that's literally what the hermit says i follow my path right i follow my own path the little affirmation at the bottom you're really reconnecting to your own path not the the crowd's path you're not um you are leading your own path and if people want to follow awesome people want to support you great if people don't awesome like you do you but yeah what a powerful reading scorpio i hope that you enjoyed i hope that you found this helpful and insightful if you did let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel i greatly appreciate all of you thank you so much for all of your support if you'd like to book a private reading with me the information for that's in the description down below and if you want to follow me on my instagram and tiktok you can find me there at jadestone tarot i'm gonna let you go thank you so much for watching scorpio and i'll talk to you in the next one take care